you're looking for a budget-friendly survival type shotgun, then the Savage Model 301 might just be what you're looking for. So what I have here is a Savage Model 301 410 bore shotgun. This is a single shot break action shotgun. This gun has very simple operation. Let's look at the controls here. This is the lever that opens the breech. Once you crack the breech open, this is a spring-loaded ejector, so the shells will shoot out of the gun when you open it. I kind of like that. It really prevents you from having to get in here and dig it out with your fingernail. Once you close the breech, assuming you have a shell in there, simple operation, cock the hammer, get it ready to fire. It does have a manual safety on it if you want to use it. I really prefer not to mainly because this type of gun having a manual hammer on it, there's not really much you can do to mess up the operation of it. This does have a hammer block in here as well. So much like a Charter Arms revolver or a lot of other revolvers, this transfer bar, if the hammer is down, the transfer bar prevents the firing pin from being pushed when the hammer is down. So realistically, the safest way to carry this, round in the chamber, hammer down, on the chamber, cock the hammer to fire it. Again, you can use the manually safe, manual safety if you want to. I don't really see the point of using it. Um, I've taken this out to the range already. I did not use the manual safety once. I just don't cock the hammer unless I'm ready to fire. Um, trigger on it's really not that bad. And uh, other than that, there's not really much to this gun. This particular model has a 26 inch long barrel it has screw-in chokes, which is a nice feature that you typically don't get on a budget-friendly gun like this. Just has a single brass bead on the front of the barrel. No rear sight other than these little striations here on the top of the receiver. So I guess you can kind of use that as a rough rear sight if you want to. I honestly didn't even notice them there when I was firing this gun. But the reason this would be a good choice for a survival-type shotgun this costs under $200. I picked it up with taxes and everything else for $200 out the door. You can find it online for about $150 to $170. But locally to me, it was available for $200. Very simple operation to use it. I already went over that. If you want to take this gun down, you break the breech open. There's a button here on the front of the foregrip. You push this button. The whole plastic comes off the bottom of this, and then basically you open the breech, tip the barrel forward like you're going to unload it, and then pull it up and out, and the gun's in two pieces. So realistically, it could be considered a takedown as well. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like when it's in two pieces. So when the gun is broken down into two pieces, this is what you get. Your butt stock, your main action with the hammer and everything in it, and then your 26-inch long barrel with your foregrip on here. Now, Savage does make this in a 410 Turkey model, which comes in a camouflage stock. It also has a different choke in it made for the TSS Tungsten uh, Turkey loads. They also make a 20 gauge and they make a 12 gauge. For me, the reason I picked up this 410, I like to have more than one firearm in every caliber I have. So I already have a Mossberg 500 in 410 and I have an 18 and a half and a 24 inch barrel for that. But I wanted to have a second 410 gun, trying to find one that was inexpensive. Again, this was $200 out the door. I think the last time I bought my Mossberg, I paid like either $269 or $289 for it. It was right around $300 with tax. So this, the price was right. It's very simple. As you can see here, you theoretically could put this in some type of a pack when you're, if you're out in the woods, you could take the barrel off and stick it outside the pack put the, um, the butt end of the stock inside your pack so it doesn't look like you're carrying a gun. And you can carry this around anywhere in the woods. But the nice thing about it is super simple to clean, super simple to take apart. If you ever did have a malfunction with a shell being stuck in the barrel, you can put something down the barrel and knock it out. Or you could simply just reach in here and pull the shell out. Um, like I said, it, it does have a spring-loaded ejector, so the chances of getting a shell stuck in there are pretty slim. I did take this thing out and shoot it, and it shoots perfectly fine. I shot bird shot, I shot buckshot, and I shot rifled slugs through it. Handled everything remarkably well. 
I was shooting at 25 yards. The pattern at 25 yards was probably about a 10 inch circle with birdshot, um, a little bit smaller with buckshot. And I was actually hitting the target pretty well with the slugs. I probably had like a three inch group and I wasn't trying very hard at 25 yards with some rifled slugs. So once again, this is a Savage model 301 in 410 bore. This takes two and a half or three inch shells. Very simple to break down, very simple to store. It's a simple gun, has a plastic stock on it. It is pretty substantial, it's pretty thick. I actually think the stock on this is thicker than what you would get on a Ruger American. Um, it's not like super high quality. The bluing is ample on it and uh, it functions well. So let's cut over to some shooting video. That was some Remington 3-inch number 5 game loads. Let's switch to some AA birdshot now. Let's move on to some 410 Herders Rifled Slugs. I believe these are one-fifth of an ounce. I think the load on these slugs was a little bit hotter than the birdshot. I did have some little bit of difficulty trying to open the breech when I was shooting the slugs, but it did open every single time.
At 25 yards, the accuracy was more than ample. The patterning was pretty good, and I'm very happy with this shotgun. Thanks for watching Cranky Gun Reviews. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.